And you know the, what the, where the verse is found in Matthew 24. It seems like so much goes back to yeah. Matthew 24. And in Matthew 24, it says, As it was in the days of Noah, so will it be at the coming of the Son of Man. Now, a thought hit me recently about the days of Noah. Mm -hmm. Do you know that in the days of Noah, Methuselah <laughs> lived up to two years before the flood. Yes. Methuselah knew Adam and Eve. Right. They lived. Isn't that exciting? Oh. Yeah. Totally. Boy, when I first realized that, it just yes. overwhelmed me. Go well, ahead. In, I love that. In Noah's day, they lived 900 to 1,000 years old. Yes. At the time of the flood... They was only one generation removed from the miracles of creation. In Noah's day, they were not atheists. They knew God. They knew the stories of creation. Oh my. The people in Noah's day was literally the backslid, lukewarm church of God's creation. One generation removed. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Here's one aspect to this. We are one generation removed from the Welsh revival, the Azusa Street revival, a worldwide revival of Pentecost and a move of the Spirit and a great revival that went around the world with miracles, signs, and oh, wonders. Yeah. We are one generation removed, and today, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. The church today is lukewarm. It is asleep. And God is going to have to bring judgment to wake up the church today, just as he did bringing judgment against Noah. In his day, not against Noah. Noah was, was, the, was part of the few, the remnant, that was awake. Well, do you know that right now, most of the church is asleep. And in Noah's day, I'll, I'm going to share something from Scripture. This is incredible. Listen to this. In Noah's day, that lukewarm church that knew God was asleep. Listen to what this says. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. Now, you know this eating, drinking, and being, you know, and being married? That's what's happening in the world today. That's what's happening literally in the church. Oh, we're, we're having just, everything's normal. Everything is okay. You know, all this talk about Jesus coming back, that's not going to happen for 100 years. Well, listen to what it says here. It says, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. The church today has got their head so stuck in the sand, they right. don't even see what's coming. That's right. That's right. Noah's day, they didn't even, I mean, here Noah built the ark, and he'd been preaching to them. Yes. The warning. And it, and it all said, it all, about all the, the warning. warning. It was all about the, the warning. The warning signs. It was all about the warning, and it says they didn't know what's going on now. Yes. We have another gospel in the church today. Most churches in the, the powerful churches are talking about money and how to get more money. Forgive Absolutely. me for saying that again, but that's what's happened. And they don't even know the warning because preachers say, we don't allow anything that scares our people. Yes. Do you think that warning that Noah was given was scary? My this Lord, is, they didn't know is, what rain was. This is literally saying, as it was in the days of Noah, the church was asleep and they didn't see it coming. And today, all of the warning signs, you know, Jesus said, Watch for the signs. And his disciples says, what will be the signs of your coming in the end of the age? And we're seeing these signs popping all over yeah. the place. Yeah. And the church is, is just like in Noah's day. They're not even going to see it coming until the day that the bricks come falling down.